Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here to film a fun video for you guys. I hope you all had a great Christmas and are having a very happy new year. Um, I wish you guys all the best in 2015 and I can't wait to see where my channel goes this year. You guys have been all great in supporting me and help spread the word for my channel. So I really, really appreciate it and I can't wait to see what 2015 holds for all of us. So um, I might tag a few specific people down below for this tag. It's the Happy New Year's tag. Um, but any of you you guys who have channels feel free to do this and let me know that you did because I love to watch you guys um, make your own videos it's really awesome so let's get right into the tag what do you plan to do for New Year's Eve typically on New Year's Eve me and my family because I'm always in Florida on New Year's Eve so I'm with my family and we typically go out to a really nice like fancier restaurant we get all dressed up and have a lot of fun just go have a nice meal and then we come back um, and our neighbors often, like the neighborhood, organizes fireworks. So we have our own little fireworks show in the backyard, which is really awesome. And then we all get together and one of the neighbors often does like a um, little like, New Year's Eve party. And people are just in and out and it's really fun. There's some music, some food. Um, and typically my tradition that I love to do more than anything else is to watch the ball drop. I love to watch the Ryan Seacrest special with the ball drop counting down. I think that that's probably, like, I love to do that. And ever since I was little, we've been doing it. And it's the thing that I love most about New Year's Eve. So that brings us into the next question, which is, do you have any New Year's Eve traditions? I think that my, our biggest tradition is to go out for dinner or do some sort of dinner. Sometimes when we were little we would do a fondue, it depends. But the tradition is to watch the um, Dick Clark New Year's Eve special, which Ryan Seacrest now hosts, um, and just watch the show, watch the ball drop. Um, that's my tradition and I think that that's like my favorite part of New Year's. Three, is there anything you love, hate about New Year's families get-togethers? Um, well, because I'm always in Florida, I don't have the traditional... Um, we don't have, like, we don't see much family. It's just me, my brother, my mom, and my dad. And then we celebrate with, like, friends that we have over there and stuff like that. So there's not really specific, like, family get-togethers. Um, but honestly, like, me and my family, because we, we've gotten older, we're so busy all the time with school, with work, my brother's sports, so we don't spend that much time together, and it's just kind of nice to catch up, especially with my brother. I feel like I barely ever see him anymore, so it's just nice to hang out and kind of become friends again, um, during that time, and just do some stuff together. I think that that's, like, my favorite part. Four, what was your resolution for the past year? Did you complete it? Um, I kind of touched upon this in a previous video, I think. I don't really make New Year's resolutions because I don't wait for the New Year to decide, okay, this is what... Like, I understand the idea behind it, and it's 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 normal, and like, yeah, I've done it, them in the past, but, like, I understand 2015, this is what I want to accomplish, but I feel like that's setting a lot of pressure for yourself, um, and there's no reason to just wait till 2015 starts to start working towards my goal. So I just think that in 2015 in general, like, which is, I'm already, stuff that I'm already working on, I just think that I, wait, what was the question? Am I talking about the past? Yeah, last year. So last year, I didn't really have a resolution, to be honest. It was just to get through school, graduate where I was, which I did, so I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, so I don't really have anything specific for that, but um, what is my resolution for the upcoming year? That's question five. And for the upcoming year, I would say just to continue to work on myself and take time for myself, because that's one thing I have a hard time with. I push myself the max and everything in school at work on my channel I work really hard at everything that I do and sometimes I don't have I don't take enough time to make sure that I'm okay and that I'm happy with what I'm doing so I think I just want to continue to work on that and honestly in this past year I have uh, really been happier than ever I've gotten rid of a lot of unhealthy relationships in my life and I'm just I've I've learned who my real friends are, and I'm just really, really happy. So I think that next year I just want to continue to work on that and continue to grow as a person because I feel like in the last few years I really have grown up and learned a lot about myself. So I just want to continue on that journey and continue through school and hopefully do as well as I can in school. And so yeah, just the usual, you know? <laughs> so question six, what was your favorite thing that happened in... Okay, this is 2011, so I guess this tide's kind of old, but my favorite thing that happened in 2014, 
I would say um, I graduated from the education system works differently here, so I'm not going to go into detail, but I graduated from from a school, and um, I started university, so I was, I'm really, really, it was really an exciting time, um, you know, uh, to take on this new challenge, it was like a fresh start in my life, um, it's harder than I thought, college, university is definitely very difficult and a lot of work, but I'm up for the challenge, and uh, yeah, I would say graduation. Um, what are you most excited for in 2015? So, 2015, I guess, honestly, I think my YouTube channel, because I started it um, in 2014, and I've put a lot of work into it, and I really, really enjoy filming videos, so I just kind of can't wait to see where it goes and what it turns into, and I love already that I have such support from you guys, and it's such a conversation, and it's really fun that I check out your channels, you guys check out mine, um, really great support system here, it's a great community, so I'm just excited to see where that goes. Number eight, what are three things you'd like to accomplish in the next year? Um, I haven't th had time to think about these. <laughs> I think I kind of touched on it before. I want to do well in school. That's the first one. Um, I want to take time for myself to enjoy and, you know, be young because they say you're only young once. Um, and I think I would just... Like, a random thing that I want to start doing more of is baking because I really enjoy it. And I've gotten cookbooks and ingredients and uh, I think I want to do some more baking. So the last question, question 9, what is your favorite thing to eat for New Year's? Um, so like I said, we often go to a very nice restaurant where I have either steak or a, like a roast or something like that. Um, but I think the holidays are just great because you get to eat whatever you want. There's like cakes and chocolates and... I, like so much like good food um so yeah I don't have anything specific like for Christmas I love turkey but New Year's um I just I just like to eat something that I wouldn't eat like every other day of the year like a nicer meal if that makes sense so that's it for this New Year's video guys I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you're having a really happy New Year I wish you all the best in 2015 um, and I would love for you guys if you um, checked out my social media websites down below so we can connect on a more personal level and help spread the word for my channel in 2015 please give it a big thumbs up because it really helps me know what you guys like to see and it also helps spread the word for the channel as well so thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!